and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Is It Alliance. That's right, we're playing some Is It Control here. Uh, calling this Is It Alliance because we are, uh, you know, this is basically a second card that you draw each turn matters deck. The First of all, you have the Improbable Alliance. Whenever you do that, you create a 1-1 blue fairy creature token with flying. And then we also have the Iron Crag Pyromancer that whenever we do it, we get to do three damage to any target. So, um, so yes, yeah, so like we're going to try to go like Alliance on two, Iron Crag Pyromancer on three, playing like a Crackling Drake on four, drawing another card, and making a fairy and dealing three damage and stuff like that. So, you know, like we're, you know, a control deck. We got some top end Planeswalkers that are really uh, powerful. Of course, Crackling Drake is always really good. And then we got the new, uh, the other new. Um, card from Throne of Eldraine, this new Planeswalker that is just really, really strong with the Royal Scions being able, like, being able, like basically all we do is loot every turn, but it has so much loyalty, it's kind of impossible to kill, and then it's very easy to ultimate because your opponents aren't killing it because it has too much loyalty, and you can get to that ultimate very fast. Um, <clears throat> so that's what our deck's about. So we're going to go ahead and try this out. Let's play a League. No, you can, yeah, that trigger only happens once each turn, but you can draw two cards on your opponent's turn to have that trigger with something like Thrill of Possibility, or it could, <clears throat> can trigger on your turn, but you, know, you, you only draw the second card for a turn one time, because, you know, you, you can't draw, whenever you draw another card, it's the third card, and then you draw another card, it's the fourth card, and so on. Hey, thanks, Boxer Rocks. Thanks, a nice little scoop cheer. All right, so let's play a league here. Let's see how our deck does. E. One land. One mulligan. Okay, doesn't look so bad. Thrill of Possibility will hopefully draw us more cards. <laughs> Two lands, second mulligan. Two lands, two mulligan. Probably, probably could have ditched Lava Coil. Um, I went, got rid of one Pyromancer. You know, this looks like a blue-white control. I think we can confirm it being uh, Crackling Drake so good though. Hmm. We'll maybe find some more lands in here. Maybe. But maybe not. Who knows? That's more like it. We better hope you delay our quest no further. Let us plan for the trials ahead. I'll just keep it. We may discard it. Yeah, good thing we have four Ashioks on the board. Ah, 
how do how do people keep messing that up? Here we go. How does that just always happen? Is my strategy here? Teferi's at seven. I have thankfully never done that as far as I know. But I think that's like the second time today that, that my opponent's done that. Probably like the fifth or sixth time I've had an opponent do that. Let's try this. I guess I just like naturally just always want to click the left hand side with the expl like that thing. Like you just basically just always cast an adventure, always cast doing the left hand side. That's not great auto tapping. Answers lie in the cold truth. I won't let you win. Maybe I should just discard a crackling drake. Or discard the temple. Yeah, I could see this deck having. I could see this deck having Fire Mines Research. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't know if there's like room for Fire Mines Research when you're playing Improbable Alliance. Like, I don't know if you can play both. And if there's more artifact and enchantment hate, just kind of entering in the format. It, in general, with there being a lot of good artifacts and enchantments, maybe that's not good for Fire Mines research also. But this is the type of deck that Fire Mines research would fit in. Only time will tell. And shattered. Well, that hurts. I was not expecting that. Anyone who stands in my way is good. Let's get toast. Not expecting that. One planes. Right before the Royal Scions ultimated. Hope it's not too hot for you. That's rude. So hope you know I'm just hoping for no dance. You know, like the longer that that we get to go with my opponent not finding dance, the better with you know the more emblems and everything. If they don't have it this turn, it looks pretty good for us. Please don't have it. Let's get 
So I think my opponent was just getting a card out of their hand for their castle. Um... Get rid of the shock. The thing is, like, shock can help against against some four fours <clears throat> because I get to Chandra minus three to do three damage to a bunch of four fours and then shock one. But I guess that doesn't. That only kills one of them, though. So I guess it doesn't really help. We'd have to have we'd have to have multiple shocks, kind of thing. Your corpse will make an excellent minion. What a good mindless minion. Hope it's not too hot for you. this this is looking pretty good with them not having dance no I, I don't no I'm not rise and shine killing Liliana I'm trying to kill my opponent <laughs> yeah we can ult Karn 14 loyalty over here Oh, uh, you're welcome, guy. I'll find it. And there is guy with the sub. Thanks, guy in shades. I appreciate that. All right, well, this is a good option to cast this turn. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> we have six subs on the day. <laughs> We're trying to get there. We're so close. Yay. So we're bringing a bunch of blue spells. Take out a bunch of red spells. That's how it goes. Okay, we're going true blue. Yeah, I mean, Pyromancer isn't doing anything. I mean, I, I could take out the the Alliance instead of Pyromancer, but Pyromancer doesn't do anything unless, you know, we have the other cards kind of thing. And against Control Deck... I don't want to have a, a card that just, you know, gets swept up by the sweepers and isn't really doing anything on its own. Do you think I should... Should I keep Empyromancers over Improbable Alliance? Or Casmina? Okay, I shouldn't take out Pyromancers ever. Aight. Yeah, it's, it's a threat that they have to answer, but it's also a threat that unless you, you're playing other threats, it's not doing anything also, right? Like, I mean, I it does trigger off opt and thrill of possibility, but those are the only, like, spells. Like, I'm, I'm basically playing other permanents to trigger that permanent.
But I could definitely see putting the Pyromancers back in here for game three. If we find other things that we want to, that don't impress and we want to take out. Lightning bolts are pretty cool. No one is more prepared than me. It's just spells, it's not abilities. Ugh. I know my responsibility. I've got it. I don't want Narset to die to Othakaya. I kind of feel like I should not have played Narset. Should have just held up Mystical Dispute. This was overwhelming. I've done the hero thing before. Well, this is bad. Well, this is bad. Steady your mind, Rowan. I will learn what nobody yet knows. I kind of assume that they're just going to get rid of Teferi. How many spells we got over here? Three. You're messing up my quid like a bolt out of the blue. <clears throat> yeah, I'd love to have mystical dispute available, but. Please don't have another one of those. Or an Othakaya. Uh, kind of figured they had Othakaya with. <clears throat> to discover I lost. With how they got rid of the Narset earlier.
seems we've encountered another, but my answers lie in the cold truth. Okay. Well, we used a, a you know a bunch of good resources there, but I think it's worth it. Huh. Alright, so they didn't... They let Royal Scions resolve. Previously. So if I don't play anything, I have to discard a card. And they get to draw, t draw a card again. Yeah, I, I can't sack the token. I have to sack Kasmina. <sighs> Darn it. It's <laughs> unfortunate. Doom foretold cards pretty good. I liked last game when they didn't play Doom foretold. I liked that. Yeah, Doom Foretold is a really strange card to play around. It is. Choose the end. Power, carry the one. Yep. Odds of victory look good. We fought through two Doom Foretolds and them not getting the value, though. So that's good. Peace. I'm out. Mystical Dispute, why aren't you just negate? Is this Pyromancer really doing that much for us? Fortunately, both of my Rals are gone. Both of my Kasminas are gone. I'm known for my excellent timing. Two Crackling Drake. Here goes nothing. 
We supposedly have four Ashioks in the deck. Supposedly. That's kind of risky. Rail's back. Think you can beat me? You're welcome to try. My pal Rail. Best pal Rail. From SoCal. You know, prison does come back with dance. You know, they can get it back with dance. Of the manse, though. Oh, Iker Wellspring. That's a card I haven't thought about in a while. <laughs> Rouse the best planeswalker in the current standard metagame, won't you agree? Uh, probably not. <laughs> probably not. It's a good planeswalker though, it's very underrated. So I guess my opponent has a dance. He can bring back four things. Make this Doom Foretold really good. So unfortunate that we've gone through so much of our deck, and we haven't seen any of our four Ashioks first. We've gone through over half the deck. And we couldn't find any of the any of our four Ashioks before this point of the game. It's really unfortunate. I activate castle, I only have three mana. Like if I if I don't play Alliance, we're just gonna have to discard it anyway. But I guess that's better than you know next next turn the card gets discarded also. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we didn't find an Ashiok first. Oh well. I mean, no, there's no reason to concede. The game's not over. They just have two two twos. Then you know, dance for four fours. If I can, if I can find an Ashiok, you know, find like a Chandra, clear the board. Ashiok, clear the graveyard. Say these crackling drakes have been so much better than what Dreadhorde Arcanist would have been. A much better card. Only played one veto so far. Actually, Vito doesn't. Or like, it's hard for me to win counter wars against Vito. All 
All right, that's a start. That's a start. We're coming back. That's a start. Counter it. Counter. You got to counter it, opponent. You got to counter. You can't let it resolve. <laughs> you got to counter. Oh, come on. You're just going to let it resolve? I know who I am. And no got to counter. Telling me what to do. <laughs> Everyone knows the bigger explosions are more fun. Yeah, that was a really nice top deck. And that's why I put Chandra in the deck. That's why we have the one Chandra, so we can draw it. When we need it. Scry both to the top. Still have mana for a counter spell up. Digging for Ashiok here. <clears throat> There's four of them, and we've seen 40 cards. There's only 20 cards left that we haven't seen. Now 19. Unfortunately, oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. Don't think I really have anything to play with this opt. Unify opt into Ashiok. We don't get to play it. I think we've gone through two negates. I think that's all. I think that's all my negates. I think I only have two. Where's my deck list? Yeah, I only have two. <sighs> so I cannot stop any dancing here. Have we gone through all three mystical disputes? One, two. Maybe there's a mystical dispute left. There's three of those, right? Oh, well, there's the dispute. Okay, they do not have counter magic up. Can we find an Ashiok? There's still four. Oh, there's only 19 cards we don't know about. Finally. We found one. Okay. Should help. Ooh, got another Doom foretold. Hope it's not too hot for you. So three Doom foretolds gone. Four, all four Doom foretolds are gone. All right, all four Doom foretolds are gone, and a dance. 
They still have like the Liliana. We're doing good on time. Yeah, how many Othakayas are left? So two are exiled, the one's in play. No dance, no dance, no dance. And Evolver! Thank you so much there, Paul. Um... All right, so now I, I have to deal with this Murder's Rider now. I am that we don't have to worry about a dance anymore. Getting back that Othakaya. So... And creeping good. With the sub as well. Oh, that's sub number nine. I'm one behind, I guess. Keeping something on top, I don't like that. I don't have hardly anything for this murderous rider left. I don't have anything that costs three mana, so I have to just take a draw step. I don't, I don't have anything that costs three mana for this thing. So I just have to randomly draw. I lost my appetite. I need... I need like crackling Drake. Ugh. Do not have a good shot here. No. Yeah, those those were not gonna do it. So close. <laughs> Alright, so we keep these Pyromancers. Instead of Kasmina. An Improbable Alliance. We'll go to three. We'll trim one Kasmina, one Improbable Alliance, put two more Pyromancers in. We'll do that. Do you think Golgari Graveyard is brewable? Absolutely. I have not tried uh, with this format yet, though. But yeah, yeah. There's there's a lot going on there. Molder Hulk, um, yeah. The the shaman that puts stuff into your graveyard and then Cauldron of Eternity. Yeah. There's there's definitely a lot going on there. I haven't I haven't tried that myself yet. All right, good hand. All of the hunger. I'm gonna start attacking their library. I leave you with oh, that was a good four cards. That was pretty good. Digestion. 
Got a, a counter spell, got a dance. And then campaign time wipe. That went pretty well. You will be haunted by this tool. <clears throat> Um, mind and bomb. meditate and prepare. They don't have blue mana right now. There's blue mana. Put thoughtfulness before action. We all have a hunger. Good, Othakaya gone. This has been a nightmare. Oh, that's true, they have globe. So they could have had blue man if they wanted. I was mostly saying like the, the whole blue man thing is because mystical dispute just counters blue. They have a glass casket in here. Is it Mill? Or is it Control? Character. Who knows? It could be either. That's the thrill of possibility. Could be anything. Courage is the greatest virtue. To know is to triumph. Down to three cards. Let me synthesize the facts. Hmm. Oh, that's tough to bottom. They just play, play like planar cleansing or something. I guess I do have a counter spell though. That's kind of tough to bottom. I'm expecting, expecting them to like maybe have one dance. They only have an Othakaya to go along with. It. Obviously, they can sack the Guild Globe. So they're at 36 cards, I'm at 38. My answers lie in the cold. We'll see how this works out, not ultimating. Targeting Narset? <laughs> Such violence is upsetting. They're just chilling with a bunch of globes over there.
like to finish Ugh. each other's attack already. Get out of here, murderous rider. So yeah, I could have dealt eight damage to them, but that two three life linker was just gonna be annoying to deal with. So I'll just keep up the double dispute. Oh, we dig for another Ashiok. We've seen quite a few cards down at the bottom because of Narset. Let us plan for the trials. Hmm. Not very good for me. Ugh. Really not very good for me. Yay, Ashiok back. Welcome to my world. Well, we found Ashiok. Remember your nightmare. Never didn't have an Ashiok. Always had one. Ow. Probably supposed to activate that upkeep. Yeah, that doesn't work. Do they need that? Oh, no, no. They still have two black sources. I was like, do they need that black source? They have... The removal for Crackling Drake. Maybe game. It's going to be difficult for my opponent to... Like, not only do they have to deal with this, but then they also have to kill me. In five minutes. And without much of a library at all. Hey, 609. Yeah, that affinity deck was really strong, wasn't it? Glad you liked that video. Yeah, that, that deck was sweet. We'll play it again. I'm planning on playing it again on Friday. Yeah, I liked that one quite a bit. I am 6-1. Height-wise. Yeah, this is a really slow standard format. <laughs> these these matches take a while. Let's go red mana. Yeah. That was an improbable draw step. Boo. I mean, I guess it's, it would it was just better for me to play Mountain to have Shock up that last turn. Whoa, they took the Thrill of Possibility? Well, that's gas. 
Thank you. Grixis doesn't usually deal with enchantments. So... I like having these enchantments. Boo. Take the opt. Take the opt. Take the opt. 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 Take the opt. I can't draw a second card. You can't let me draw a second card. You gotta take that opt. The red card would be the most shocking card for them to take. Maybe they'll take that one, though. We'll see. No, I'm probably... They took the alliance. Oh, man. Oh, man. We got the wrong guy. Is their life on Snickers? Mm, that doesn't work very well. I like, is their life on Mars? What? Can't draw a second card? If you wish to surrender now, I understand. What is that? Garbage. <laughs> you could use some training. Interesting technique. Hey, what's up, plumber? Thanks for getting that resub in here. Ooh, sub number 10. Sub goal achieved. All right, let's mark it down. So there's, as y'all know, we do a 12 hour stream whenever we get to 20 total sub goals. And that is number 12. So we're getting there. Um, my opponent's hand was not so bad this game. In fact, it was probably pretty good. Thought Erasure on two, Thought Erasure on three. Fires of Invention, Narset on turn four. Nickel Bolas, turn five. I will return one day. My intellect is without limit. Not a bad hand at all. They could even play something else besides. And and they have the castle they get to start act they get to activate. So activate castle and nickel bolus on five. Yeah, in fact, I, I think it, it really can't get any better than that. Nickel Bolas just buries us, having to exile a permanent every turn. All right, anti-control plan. Ether Gust can get rid of fires and bolus. Yeah, we, we kind of need shock for Narset. We need to just counter Narset, I suppose. Narset's going to be tough. Play shock instead of Pyromancer, I guess.
<laughs> yeah, yeah, the Abzan Hero does have... That is a good deck at dealing with Fires of Invention, for sure. It's got all the tools you need there. Don't really know exactly what I'm scrying for. Like, I, you know, we need more lands for these Rowls. Like, land is just fine, I suppose. Put the tap land back. Now the reason why I like Ashiok here is because they don't have lots of win cons and milling over a bunch of cards can be quite effective. Yeah, the, the deck list for the artifact deck from yesterday, you can you can either find it on the Stream Decker page, um, or there you go, 619 link to you, or you can just um, It's always linked in the YouTube videos. You know, the YouTube videos always have a link to the deck list in them. Please don't have fires of invention. Ugh. Well, there goes Ral. Kind of the bad news is that they missed a land drop. It's honestly kind of bad news. Their hand is just all good cards. My assumption there. So I'm not I'm not up activating this on upkeep. Could have really used Ral. That would have been good. Contain your rage. Uh, so it's three thought erasure, two duress. <laughs> I'm letting this get taken because I'd rather activate castle than. Have been loaded. It's quite bad for us. I 
I don't know if improbable two improbable alliance and a royal scions beat six cards and you know they'll be able to draw a seventh. I don't, don't know if they do. Probably not. <laughs> Bucket fridge. Welcome from San Diego there. Bucket fridge. Thanks, 619. Still have much to learn. It's fine. It seems we've encountered another puzzle on our My plan is crystallizing. Where's Mill and that card over? So Island's a perfectly reasonable card to mill over. Having the 1-1 one -one tokens does help against Bolas tick up. Obviously, they have. Oh, shocked and shattered. With my sister by my side, I do not let me synthesize the facts. Entropy. Welcome to the channel, there, Entropy. And six Santa six one nine strikes again. So no, you still have a tie, Sakrasta. At least I see one over here. Hey, SSJ2, also joining in on this hype action. Get some more hype votes for our new sub there. Thanks, J2. I think... I think I'm going to get rid of the land so like these two 1-1s one -ones can pressure Nicol Bolas here. The, the problem with getting rid of the land is that we don't get to cast 6-mana uh, Chandra. Yeah, yeah, I do 12-hour do streams on sub-battle Saturdays, absolutely. Yep, that's a, that's a good day to do 12-hour streams to try to get more people in the sub-battles. I honestly don't think that this is too bad of a matchup for us, like, you know, over the long haul. But my opponent just had really awesome hands both of these games, you know, like having millions of discard spells early, obviously with, like, fires and everything. Like, their hands were just ideal. Both games, unfortunately. Let us plan for the trials ahead. My prowess is unmatched. I have just the trick for this. I'm I'm not expecting Field of the Dead to get banned, even with moving the the BNR day.
Yeah, Mystical Dispute does not really do anything against Fires of Invention, but we're at least scaring our opponent. We're going to. My plan is just to discard the Mystical Dispute next turn to the Royal Scions. Because, you know, they get to cast their spells for free, they, they can pay the extra three. There are other formats besides just standard. Um, but, I mean, it, it can definitely happen. I can just exile it. It can definitely happen at getting banned. I'm just not expecting it to. Putrid, but effective. Lord Jaraxxus! Lord Jaraxxus has to have that tie. Gotta have that tie. I know 88 ways to defeat you. Pick one. Keep an open mind. I wonder what you fear most. Strike fear into the hearts of the wicked. technique it's sad that narset is so powerful against me i have to attack a narset it's really unfortunate that i have to attack a narset there <clears throat> narset's just too powerful against me A mighty warrior. I can see obviously hurts. I need my two creatures here. Gross. I need those to kill Narset. And then, you know, try to ultimate Royal Scions, but Royal Scions ultimate doesn't do anything with Narset in play. Narset's got me pretty good. Ugh. Yeah, too many discards. Got all my Rals. Rao would have been amazing if it was out there. No. 
Bolus doesn't have the abilities of the... Doesn't have the, the passive abilities. It's The passive ability is what matters, how we can't draw multiple cards. And so the, the Bolus doesn't get passive abilities. I will learn what nobody yet knows. I obviously hope that my opponent cannot kill Royal Scions here. Whoa. Whoa. Where'd that thing come from? I love a good fight. My plan is crystallizing. All right, I gotta get that out of here. Playing Pyromancer to do three, you know, like we're not, we're not dealing enough to that thing. Is my strategy here? All right, now this game's looking good for us. No. from my brother. My plan is crystallizing. Yay, planeswalkers. Uh, so good. Always nice to get out of the line. Well, let's see what the wind blows in. Where all the the gold, all the gold is it cards over here. All the gold is it cards. wisely because the other one's going bye-bye this is pretty sweet triple alliance mm, a quest of mystery that's pretty sweet just every turn you just get three one ones It's like we're playing Field of the Dead. To the mind's reign and the heart's fervor. <clears throat> Lasso cards. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if we need to do too much sideboard in here. Our opponent's playing kind of an intro deck. We'll just keep it. Looks good. Ugh. 
I'm not bullying. I'm just playing my cards. Red Castle. It's pretty it's pretty free to play like one Red Castle. It kind of you know only like that's like the first time that we've played a game where we've had a bunch of fairy tokens. You know, that's the only time it's doing something, but you know, that game is going to come up every once in a while. It's pretty free to play one red castle over a mountain. All right, hoping our opponent. Yeah, I know thrills an instant. Was there any reason to wait? Darn. It did have a way to pump up the arrow list. My opponent knew my hand with duress. Just faster just to play it. Main phase anyway. So, Ral. Will not be able to kill Soren anymore. Or not be able to kill Aerialist anymore, but. Chandra can now. Kasmina. This is the first time I've had an opponent play Soren Vampire Lord against me, I think. I think. I need some kindling. And you look flammable enough. Utterly is the best way to destroy things. This is not my fight. Dude, check out this loyalty over here. Check out that loyalty. Four trillion two hundred ninety four billion nine hundred and sixty seven thousand two hundred and ninety four loyalty. <laughs> that's that's so have you ever seen a planeswalker that much loyalty? Oh my god, yeah, can you imagine playing Bio Essence Hydra? Alright, my poor opponent, I'm just sitting here. Do nothing. Let's get toasty. Think you can beat me? You're welcome to try. So loyal. <laughs> yeah. Hope our opponent's a tad late for a vampire deck, you know. Oh no, don't pass Vism that. I have better things for you to pass Vism. In hand. Hope we get something good. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? I lead the way, but my brother knows. My answers lie in the cold truth. So much card draw. Reason we're not playing a bag of holding in this deck. I I just don't really like bag of holding. I don't I don't know. It's I mean it's okay, but it's, 
it's perfectly fine, but I don't. A quest of I feel mystery. like it's not necessary. Basically, I don't know if it's necessary. Well, let's see what the wind. I've already say. drawn my second card for turn. Two and one. Two and one. Uh, I don't know if there is any kind of emergency ban. It kind of seems like the only reason to move up the BNR announcement is th if there's going to be changes, because it, you know, if you're just moving up the BNR announcement and then announcing no changes, that's kind of like what's the point. So, uh, there will likely be something, but I don't know if that means standard. I could see that with other formats. You're saying, yeah, like maybe something in Popper, Vintage, I don't know. Other formats as well. Uh, Oko will not be banned. Playing it here in case we find like a, a temple. If the only thing that's reasonable to ban in standard that has any chance whatsoever is Field of the Dead, but I don't expect that to happen. But that's the only one that I could possibly see happening. So basically, it's it's not prob probable, but that's the only one that can. That's the only card that could get banned. But there's not. There's not a chance of anything else. Me to phase you out of time. I don't care what you do. Do whatever you want. I'm tired of you, Teferi. This might be a bad idea. Of course it's gonna be. You're doing it. Sorry I'm late. No, I don't think they're gonna restrict anything in standard. So I, I don't think like field will be restricted to Um even though you know that is an option. Like they have the option for that, but that's just not something they've traditionally ever done is restrict cards in standard. So that would be a surprise. I will learn what nobody yet knows. So they're playing Gilded Goose over here. Ugh, I don't really want to discard any of these. I guess it's coil. Cause this it seems like this could be a questing beast deck. I hope they don't have Wicked Wolf this turn. my strategy here. I guess we're probably going to have Thrill discard Thrill. 
Let's observe. <laughs> we got the fortress. Oh no. You don't get your creatures either. If I don't get mine, you don't get yours. No creatures. It's only fair. We like to finish each other's attack already. I just don't really like yeah we could do the nine damage to them but we don't really I mean we're not really winning the game by the nine damage I don't feel like I feel like you know like we're winning the game by a lot if we win jeez my plan is crystallizing well that's Trouble. I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. That was trouble. Knowledge is the greatest weapon. Mm. A quest of mystery. I said if we win. I, I feel like we're winning by a lot if we win. That the nine damage won't add up to be too much, but I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. This isn't looking great now. Well, I don't know, we still have a lot of cards. They only have three for Ral. I was expect I was kinda of expecting them to discard a fourth and center sorcery to be able to kill Crackling Drake, but they were not able to. So like this is this is basically do we get to kill Ral or not? Like hopefully we do. You know, cause that That Ral is ultimating. No ho If you show remorse, Ugh. I'll show restraint. We are still gonna be able to give our crackling Drake trample. Might be a bad idea. So I need to find like shock. This is a This is potentially over if we don't find shock. So many lands. Yeah, we're almost we're almost out of lands. That should be game though. Well, let's see. I guess they have to cast instants and sorceries. For the emblem. Maybe they don't have that many instants and sorceries. This lightning strikes a lot more than twice. Trust me. Yeah, I, I do have less lands because of how many how much cycling we have. And, and plus, you know, we get to discard lands and everything too, but normally this deck would want to play twenty five or twenty six, but we're playing twenty four because of the cycling we have. And so it's pretty easy to discard lands also. Yeah, the mass manipulation got us real, real bad. 
I don't know. They're they're a Bant deck. They may not have that many instants and sorceries, but you know we've seen Grow Spirals, Time Wipe. Oh, come on. Why am I not playing Mass Manipulations? That card's busted. So Mass Manipulation costs like tons of mana with Kesmina, right? It costs two more for each target. Yeah. Yeah, that's how that works. So I should probably keep Kesmina... Do I just take out Alliance? And yeah, I could take out like my really good Planeswalkers. They can't steal them, but... And it's kind of how are we winning the game. I'm going to take out Thrills. I don't know if they're playing counter magic. Having Thrill a possibility to get countered is really rough. Okay, so we'll have Alliance on two, Pyromancer on three, maybe Drake on four. I didn't keep the other Pyromancer because, you know, we don't even have we didn't have the fourth mana for Drake, and if we keep the other Pyromancer, it's kinda of keeping a lot of creatures where one time wipe would mess us up. Yay, no mystical dispute. With my sister by my side, I do not fear. Hmm. What is my strategy here? Trust me, you'll thank me later. Here we go. Let me synthesize the facts. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Getting a bunch of one ones is good against mass manipulation, though. Try to steal my planeswalker, I'll have some attackers. At least. Hey, J Rock. Thanks for keeping that sub going. That Demir deck yesterday was really neat. I really liked that one too. But yeah, thanks there, J Rock. Right 15th sub of the day. Why is this deck called Is It Alliance I got you. or Improbable Alliance? Plan. 
it's kind of tough to take this Royal Scions up to eight, honestly. They have untapped blue and then just steal Royal Scions and ultimate. my strategy here. Please don't do that. Do not shock in a blue source. Play Krasis. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, that's not so bad. Hey, and there's a dispute. Ready, Will? Let us unleash our united okay. strength. Down to two. Down to two. Little too late. Gonna just hold up both disputes. Yeah, discarded shock. Yeah, that discard shock earlier is not help, not looking so great. Yeah, Alabama definitely is. They're gonna win. A and M has looked really bad this year, or much worse than expected. I suppose this is a way to say that, though. There are so many mysteries to uncover. Thank you. Alabama is likely going to do quite well against them. Let's slow this down. I'll protect you. So I didn't show, I just didn't show Mystical Dispute to my opponent. Just didn't want to. They were dead. They could have had a bird to kind of stay alive that would have made my life more difficult. But we still had lethal on the, the battlefield there. I mean, I, I had lethal there. No, a, drawing a card with Alliance is only one that's only one card you have to draw two cards to trigger these other things that's only drawing one card hey Kalua King one year Yeah, I did not have the mana yet for opt and activation. Thanks, Kalu King. It's a pretty pretty good scry land there. Get that land out of here. And we'll have dispute for Narsetter to Fairy.
I'd rather my opponent play Narset. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather counter Narset. Narset's tough for us to beat. This isn't a fight you can win. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Yeah, the, the Kefnet stuff is, um, the Ke like with Kefnet, you know, you just don't get to actually reveal your cards very often. You just don't get to do that very often. So why do we keep shocking this, this no, matchup for, for these, these Planeswalkers, like especially for Narset, but for Narset to Fairy? Want to kill these, especially Narset. So shock something that can go upstairs. I don't want to play Kasmina. This is hardly my worst defeat. Shocking in here to Tell my opponent that I have negate. Even though I don't. I don't want them stealing Chandra. If you haven't heard of me, then get ready to meet my flames. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah, they they played around my counter spell really well there with the Ceratops. We need a land. Seriously? Now negate? Annoying. The past meditate and prepare. Mass manipulation still a heck of a card. Too 
That's unfortunate. I don't I don't know how I'm getting out of this. Let's get toasty. I don't think I have anything to get out of this. My boiling point. See Wookiees. Fizzled out. Yeah, honestly, yeah, honestly, CW, that's a good um that's a good point that like I, I could have I mean with my Chandra I could have just minus sixed, you know, <laughs> and just killed my own Chandra and not let them ask manipulation. Could have done that. Um They would have, of course, held on to mass manipulation, but then I would have drawn into negate. So yeah, like maybe, maybe that was the play. All right, there's the Is It Alliance. Our deck felt pretty good. It, it could use. It did feel like it could use a little bit more top end. Um, a little bit more powerful top end cards. Um, the, like that, that's basically all I was missing, you know, like, like, as we saw, like my opponent playing mass manipulation and agent of treachery and stuff like that, it, it did feel like I was missing like some top end. I'd say like the, the Casmina was probably the, the worst card in the deck. I think I would take out Casminas. Um, I liked the Rao quite a bit, and and honestly, killing killing Narset. So yeah, I took out Fries, but I guess our deck really does need Fries. Um. So yeah, like our deck needs Fries because Narset was a huge problem. Our deck could play Narset main. Do we not need Ether Gust? I don't know. I don't know exactly what to get rid of, but like we need some fries in there. Even if it's like two fries, two or three. We need a couple of those. And no, I wouldn't play Sarkin. Could just play like, like Ugin, maybe even Agent of Treachery. Or just another Chandra. The good part about having like the the six mana planeswalkers is not only are they just really powerful, 
but if you have them early, you know, you don't you don't mind discarding a Chandra, a six mana Chandra to a Thrill of Possibility or a Royal Scions um, if you have another one. If another one, you know, if you have another one in your deck. When you only have like the one copy, it's kind of hard to discard it if you think that you're going to want it, like really want it later on. Um, yeah, Niv Mizzet can definitely be there also. I. I don't really like Niv Mizzet in this metagame though, because of you know like a getting bounced by three mana to fairy, without it doing anything, and with Oko turning it into an elk. Cyborg need to take out like three cards. I don't, I don't know exactly what. If you have any preferences on what cards, I, mean, I think I don't think we need three Ether Gus. That could be one. Um, the Narset looks pretty good too, though. I wouldn't mind having more Narsets, but. Narsets don't help you hit land drops, which is kind of a, a problem. I don't know, maybe like two fry. Ashiok's just so good these days, but you could play three Ashiok because you draw a lot of cards. <clears throat> okay. Um, so there we go. So that's Is It Alliance. It was pretty fun to play. These is it cards were were pretty uh, fun to play. Yeah, Ashiok's absolutely needed. Yeah, again for the Golas Field of the Dead decks these days. All right, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there, and also uh, let me know uh, how this deck's going. If you're playing it over there, uh, if you're trying it out, leave some comments on the YouTube channel as well. Um, you know, letting me know about this deck. I always like seeing those comments over there. But that's it here for Is It Alliance. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.